Thus, the heaven and the earth were finished and all the host of them. And the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in that he had rested from his work, which God had created and made. These are the generations of the heaven and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herd of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the ground and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became the living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out to Eden to water the garden. From hence it was parted and became into four heads. And the first is Pizan, that is, which compassed the whole land of Hivlea, where there is gold, and the gold of the land of good. There is Delum, and the oxen stone, and the name of the second river is Gion, the same that is the compassive the whole land of Ethiopia, and the name of the third river is Hedekel in which that go toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is the Ararites. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden and dressed it up and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, O every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest, therefore thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help and meat for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them into Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called every living creature, that was the name therefore. And Adam gave names to all the cattle, to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a help meat for him. And the Lord God paused the deep sleep. I'm sorry. The Lord God caused the deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept and took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh and said, therefore, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her into the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore, shall a man leave his mother and father and shall cleave unto his wife and he they shall be one flesh. They were both naked, the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. Please like, click, and comment and share this video. Please do subscribe. I will be back with chapter 3. Jesus loves you and so does I.